So as you may know, season two of the treasure track began an entirely new system for the treasure track that provided much harder quests for us to have to complete in order to obtain treasure points to get all of the treasures and the amount of treasures was also increased to 15. So this season was a lot harder and it is still going. It's got 20 something days left as of the time I'm recording this and you may or may not have it. It should be almost a release to everyone very soon. This is around the time Prodigy said that it should be released to everyone so you will likely have this quite soon. But if you do get it um, in the next uh, less than a month, then uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't finish it. But anyway, this video should be helping you out on how to get through the treasure track as quickly as you can because there are some very useful tips and tricks that you can use to your advantage for getting through the treasure track. So I'm going to go over those in this video and I hope this helps you out as you have either completed it, either um, you've just started it or you're like halfway through it or something. Hopefully this helps you out. So let's go ahead and get into these tips. Tip one, complete all three daily tasks every day. Completing these tasks as they reset every day is quite helpful not as helpful as some of these other ones, but it does get you an extra 450 points each day if you don't do anything else. And they also build towards your weekly and season quests. So is it, it is in your best interest to at least play enough every day to complete these three quests so that you can add to your weekly and season ones as well. Because you do need a lot of points for this treasure track and you want to complete as many quests as possible going through the weekly and season ones. So the daily ones get you 450 points and add to your weekly and season quests. And of course, the number of points required to unlock each treasure does increase throughout the track. Treasures one through four, I believe, have uh, 1000 points necessary to complete them. Treasures five through nine have 2000 Treasures 10 through 14 have 3,000, and treasure 15 requires 4,000 points to complete it. Tip 2. Utilize Tower Town. Tower, Tower Town. Town has never had much purpose in Prodigy, but it has proved useful for players to complete the treasure track. Answering questions in Tower Town will add to your daily, weekly, and season uh, quests for answering math questions. The season quest requires you to answer 300 math questions. The weekly one requires 100 math questions and the daily one requires 20. So that's a lot of math questions you have to answer. And it's a lot easier to answer those in Tower Town than in battles. Even though through Tower Town you won't be able to get any further on completing the other quests, it will help you a lot on completing the quests for answering math questions, so use that when you can. Tip 3. Use the best relics, wands, and pets for specific quests. You might know that many of the weekly and season quests involve casting spells of every element except neutral, and in order to cast those spells, the weekly ones you have to cast 30 of each element, and season ones you have to cast 90. So in one week, you have to cast 30 of 8 spells. That's a lot. In order to make sure you can complete this, use pets that have those spells, and use relics and wands for your wizard that also have those spells that you're trying to complete. You can also complete more than one at once by using multiple different spells to get farther along in different quests. There are many different ways you can go about this, but completing the 30 ones and then a week later completing another 30 gets you a lot closer to completing the 90 ones. So if that's what you need to do, then you can go and do that. Or you can just try to go for the 90 ones immediately. That's possible too. So again, use pets that have the spells that you're trying to cast and use wands and relics for your wizard that will be able to get you different 
quests to complete those as well. So use your best for those different elements. Tip 4. Draw out battles. You may be thinking that it's best to go through battles as fast as possible, but no, that's really not the case. When you're in a battle and you have the chance, you want to prolong it as long as you can. You want the battle to last as long as you can so you can answer as many math questions, cast as many spells of elements, and just do all that as you possibly can. It's okay to use weak spells in order to get the um, elemental quest casting uh, achievements. Even if you cast a spell and it fumbles, like it misses, then it still counts to that goal. So it's okay to make battles as long as you can, even though the best place to go is Firefly Forest because battles can go faster there and while the enemies are generally easier, you have to work to prolong the battles but it is most definitely possible, so do that whenever you can. It's very useful. It allows you to cast multiple different elemental spells in one battle if that's what you're trying to do. So those were four tips that I hope can help you complete the treasure track as fast as you can. I was able to complete tr season two in about nine days with these tips, so hopefully this can help you get through it quickly as well. So, what do you think about Season 2 of the Treasure Track? What do you think about the quests? And do you hope that Prodigy continues this instead of just the answering math questions? So, just what do you think about the rewards as well? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.